Fempro Car Guy here, and today I will show you why this Carpyrite 901 Pro Wireless CarPlay and Android Auto unit might be the one to get. I've done a few videos on these portable units, and as always, you can add this to any vehicle made in the last 50 or so years. But what makes this one special? Let's find out. Installation and setup on this device could not be easier. So you can use one of the brackets. You get one of these suction cup ones that also has a sticky kind of adhesive type of thing here at the bottom on the actual suction cup. And of course, you also get a secondary stand. So if you want to use a 3M uh, adhesive and stick it directly to the dashboard and maybe even put a couple of screws in to hold it in permanently, you can do that. So that's super easy. Slide it into the screen requires a little bit of force but not too much you can of course extend it here or adjust it this way so lots of ways to adjust it looking on the left side here we can see a few different inputs and outputs so we have dc 12 volt in then we have the usb so that's great for actually plugging in your phone so if you'd like to do wired carplay or android auto you can do that and it will charge your phone at the same time you also get a tf card slot so that's a micro sd card slot you can use that to play music and things like that and you have a mic port right here so if you don't want to use the built-in mic you can plug your own in and have probably slightly better uh, quality audio all right let's get this installed and just to show you how it works so i just stuck it down push that down and now it's locked in place very solid the only thing that's moving is actually my glove box so power is provided by a simple cigarette lighter adapter so i'm just going to plug that in and then plug this into the unit and then it should power on automatically so that means it will power on with the car whenever you turn the car on so that's pretty cool to see and as you can see it just tells us hey this is going to be a car puride unit and you have your support link there as well and then you're presented with the main menu to be very clear i have already reviewed the non-pro version of this unit so check that out if you need more details there is a link in the description and in this card right here. In this video, I will do a quick overview and highlight the difference between the two and why you'd want this one instead. So it quickly loads into this main menu and then you have wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, AirPlay, so you can clone or mirror your phone to this device. Same thing for Android, equalizer, Bluetooth, USB, that micro SD card that I mentioned earlier and you have an fm and bluetooth transmitter hey that's a hint for you right there and settings so let's quickly check out the settings i'm not going to go into depth as i have done in the previous video but basically you have the languages you can switch you can turn on or off the device speaker which is built in so you don't even have to connect this to your vehicle if you don't want to switch the apps you want to use for android or for the iphone configure our wi-fi or even uh, turn on some warnings uh, for when you're driving and if you have the camera installed so how do we connect the phone well that's actually really easy i'm just going to go to the iplay which is the wireless carplay for the for the iphone now it's telling me to connect to the carpyride bluetooth so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go carpet ride with the serial number. Click on that. It's going to ask us to pair. I'm going to hit pair, allow sync. And now it's connected. Do I allow the use of CarPlay? Yes. And, and there it is. Now we are in wireless CarPlay. So obviously the phone is not connected to anything. There is no wire. And now I can simply go into, let's say music on here and hit play. And there you go. So now it's streaming directly from my phone to this device using Bluetooth. That's pretty clear. And that's exactly what I showed you on the previous device, the 901, the non-pro version. And that works great. Everything else works as expected. So you have your you know, standard CarPlay with all of the apps that are supported by Apple CarPlay. You have your map that loads up on the left. If you have different maps like Waze or I don't know, Google Maps or whatever you like, that will show up on here and you get standard Apple CarPlay. So if both devices have wireless CarPlay, what is the big difference? Well, the big difference is that this device actually has three different ways of connecting to your vehicle that's what makes this special it actually has two bluetooth devices installed so it has two 5.0 bluetooth modules one is for connecting to your phone and the other one's for connecting to your vehicle this gives you much higher quality audio 
first of all. And second of all, it allows you to use this device on much more modern vehicles and still get really, really good quality. Of course, if your vehicle is older, you can still use your FM transmitter and it will work just fine. It's gonna sound like an FM radio, but it does work. And let me show you that, right? So we're gonna go to FM transmit, select 94.1 on the vehicle and 94.1 on this device as well. Turn it on, okay? Now, I'm gonna turn the volume up on the car. And as you can hear, the music is playing through the car, through all of the speakers. There is a tiny bit of hiss, but it is FM after all. This works best for really, really old cars. So 70s, 80s, 90s, you know, when you didn't have auxiliary ports and stuff like that. The second way of connecting to the vehicle is using the auxiliary cable. So you would just plug this into the device and then plug the other end into your car. Select auxiliary on your car and just play music. You will get probably the best audio quality using this. But if your audio doesn't sound great, you might just have to turn the volume down from the device itself. Don't rely on this little device's amplifier to amplify the music to your, you know, high levels. Use this device to send the audio signal to your car and then use your car's amplifier, which is much bigger, and probably better quality, to amplify it to the levels you want to hear. I've heard so many people complain about the quality of the audio using these units and I've never had this issue by just using this simple trick. Turn the volume probably like 50% on the device and then crank it up on your car. It'll sound much better, no hiss or anything like that. Anyway, the last and the unique way of sending the audio to your vehicle is using the Bluetooth transmit transmitter, I guess. This is the only device that I've actually seen that can do this and that's super impressive and why I wanted to do a quick video on this device even though I've already done a review of the 901 without the Pro. So what we're gonna do is just gonna go to Bluetooth and then we're gonna go, okay, it's gonna activate it on the vehicle and add new device. At this point, it should show up on our device right here. We'll see how hard it is. Click on connect or click on the device's name. Okay, it's asking if I'd like to verify that. Yes, that's fine. And we are now connected. So it's as simple as that. Yeah, and it's asking if we wanna use it for our phone features and Bluetooth audio. Yes, we wanna do it for both. And that's important, why? Because if the car has microphones built in, it will use the microphone built into your vehicle through this device to your device and you can have your maps opened up. So you can go in here and you can have your you know, maps here, have a phone call and then listen to music in between. No worries. So you're basically gonna be using it as a modern vehicle's entertainment system rather than just an old Bluetooth device thing that we would have before. And there you go, we have completed the entire setup. I'm playing live radio on my phone. You'd play your own music obviously, but I don't have any music on this phone. So it's playing the music from here, sending it through here, through Bluetooth, and then this device is communicating with my vehicle. Once again, using the second Bluetooth module and sending it to the car. So let's listen for a she second. Was, uh, an activist for. Uh... So as you can hear, the audio quality is much much better than FM, and probably as good as the auxiliary. But there is no extra wires. You only need one power wire to power the entire thing on. So you get crystal clear audio, no hum, no buzz, nothing. It just works and it works well. And once again, you can use any app to send audio to this device. So it could be Spotify, it could be YouTube Music whatever else people use, right? All right, the last thing I wanted to show you is how to use AirPlay on this device. A lot of people asked in the previous video and here's how you do it. It's pretty simple. You go to AirPlay, it tells you to connect to this Wi-Fi. So that's what I will do. But before I do that, I'm gonna disconnect the Bluetooth. So make sure the CarPuride Bluetooth is disconnected and your wireless CarPlay is not connected. If it is connected, it's not gonna work. So you're gonna go to Bluetooth, just right here, connect to CarPuride. And once you're connected to this Wi-Fi SSID, go down or like flip down the, the menu, go to screen mirroring and then select copyright AirPlay. Should only take about five seconds. Once it does, it mirrors the phone to this screen and we can play this video. And you might say, well, it's, you know, doesn't look very good. It's very small on the screen. Well, you can just go in landscape mode, just like that. Turn the volume up. 
a unique and innovative electric vehicle that and there has you go a following and of course we can full screen it commercial one sparking a love-hate relationship among many car enthusiasts and owners Obviously, there is a little bit of a delay, especially audio delay, but that's to be expected since you're using two Bluetooth transmitters to transmit data uh, between all of these devices. But that's not really what it's for. It's not really meant, you know, for watching videos. So, and then to disconnect, we're just gonna simply go in here and hit stop mirroring. And there you go, and we're back to the main menu. All right, so how would I summarize this pro version of the Carpuride 901? Well, it has very good high quality audio, which I love. I love the dual Bluetooth 5.0 modules that helps with setting up basically in any vehicle that's ever been <laughs> created, all right, as long as we had FM radio. I really like the display. It doesn't look that great on camera because there is some reflection, but this is an IPS display panel and it's a 1024 by 600. So not quite HD, and even though they say HD, I mean, it's, 1024 by 600 looks pretty good though it also has auto dimming at night which is great not a lot of these do it of course turns on with the car and turns off with the car you have a couple of different uh, mounting options so that definitely helps when you are mounting it in the car what are some of the cons well they're reusing the box and they mentioned stuff like the rear view camera right there it doesn't come with one but you can add it it has the ports for it so you can definitely add it and get it installed if you like this one check out the links in the description if you didn't check out this video where i show you some other ones that might be more appropriate for what you're doing thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it like the video if you liked it leave your comments down below and i'll see you in the next one